I've got an evaporator here from a BMW. It's a G30 2019 530i. Failed at about 67,000 miles, uh, which is ridiculous. It's a fairly common problem on a lot of the newer BMWs. They use the same part. Does not look like it's been updated. So pretty ridiculous. So there's a lot of uh, conjecture about 1234YF being corrosive and that being the cause of these premature failures and not just a, an inferior part. So I've replaced mine. I'm going to cut this one open and we're going to see if there's any evidence to support corrosion caused by the 1234YF um, or if we just have an inferior OEM part here. Let's get started. As you can see on this one, the leak was at the top. Pretty bad spot for troubleshooting because being at the top, it didn't drain a lot of oil or dye, and it didn't take a whole lot of uh, dye down with the condensate down out of the drain. So it was pretty much just a process of elimination to find where this one was leaking. So we're gonna go ahead and cut it open and see what we can see around the leak area. As you can see from the video here, there's no sign of corrosion inside the end cap here. And you can see really good distribution of the dye and oil, and there's no evidence of corrosion at the top. So I'm going to cut down a little bit further to right about where the leak was. Uh, you know, not going to be able to get an excellent view of it, but I really am interested to see if any of the rumors about that are true. I, I personally don't. Don't buy it, but let's go a little deeper. So I've cut into the core here, just taking a section out, and you can see down inside the fins, and there is absolutely no evidence of corrosion. Now, I don't know how well you'll be able to see it on the camera anyway, but I'm looking at it with a 10X, and you can see the sides of the fins are clean. There's certainly no evidence of corrosion that would compromise the core itself. Uh, so, so far I'd say this is completely unfounded. Obviously this is only one example of a failed evaporator core. It's, again, 67,000 miles on it. Uh, the other shameful part for BMW is that this is an $1,100 core. You can get it from $800 to $1,200 depending on where you go. But comparably sized units are $300 or less. So for them to have such a high failure rate and then be three times average core price it's just shameful on bmw's part uh, i'm going to cut down one more of these fins a little bit and see if we can get a better look at the inside it's kind of difficult but i just want to want to rule out the possibility you know we're right in the leaking area there's no way i'm going to find the exact fin that was leaking it was uh when you're going to particularly fast leak so we'll see what we can do So I was able to open this fin up and there's absolutely no sign of corrosion, no surface, no intergranular, nothing, nothing that would compromise the integrity of this core. 
Um, and I imagine if I cut all of these open, you'd see the same thing. Uh, the fact that the system has several ounces of oil being constantly circulated around with the 1234YF, uh, along with the fact that it's a it's under vacuum and then serviced with the refrigerant, all, all these things make corrosion inside the system uh, really unlikely. Anyway, um, some of the arguments are that the 1234YF is more reactive, which is part of what makes it break up uh, or uh, be less environmentally hazardous because it uh, reacts with the air, but there's no air in a sealed system. So anyway, may not be conclusive for all systems, but I'd say in the case of this evaporator, there is no indication of any form of corrosion inside. So I anyway, hope that uh, video helps some of you. Subscribe to the channel and drop me a comment if you want to see anything else out of this air conditioning system. It's a, again, it's a BMW G30. I've got lots of other projects going on. Never know what you're going to run across.